my pathway to Major League Rugby. Obviously, I played a little bit at college, BYU, looking for something after, and this opened up. And I was a local boy here in Utah, married, stayed in Utah, so this was the perfect opportunity for me to actually develop my rugby career a little bit. Playing professional rugby in Utah for the last four years is a dream come true. Um, that's all we hope and wish for growing up back in the islands um, to play professional rugby. Playing with my brother for the last four years, man, is crazy. Both joyful and sad because we both broke our legs um, the first year, but then to see the, de uh, the team develop and see each other develop has been great. And my biggest support during this, or major, during the Major League Rugby has been my wife, obviously. She's the one who pushed me to put my hand up and try to take this opportunity. Like when I graduated college, I wanted to just go into the construction field. That's what I graduated in. But she was like, maybe you should give rugby a try professionally, see how long you could last. And after that first year, I thought I was done after I broke my leg into like the third game in. But then she kept motivating me. And then I had my daughter and I was like, oh, it'd be cool if I could play in front of my daughter. And yeah, I'm still here. The rugby community here in Utah has been huge, especially well at BYU. We had a ton of fans come out, support us. Then during the summers, we'd have sevens tournaments and we played a couple of sevens national championships that we won. And the Utah community has always been there for us. And to see them carry on supporting the Warriors has been so good, to be honest. It's perfect, and now it's like a perfect pathway for all the boys, all the high school kids right now. They have something to live up to. If you don't make it to the NFL or the NBA, this could be the next best thing for you. I'd like to describe my style of play on the pitch as basic, but exciting. A um, little bit Fijian flair here and there. Nah, not much the step, but just like the vision. You see the numbers, where the overlaps are, who to pick on, who to like run around. Or... I think the crowd plays a big role in um, getting the team pumped. Normally when going on the front football, getting the tech going and you hear the crowd behind you, that's always a motivating factor. But then I've seen it on the other side when you get booed or and there's and it's just demeaning to the players. But once you get, I guess, experience you tend to like block it out and you tend to just take in the positive stuff a hey, good job and keep all the negative uh negative stuff out of your head and that's when i guess you become good at your craft if you can do that over the years being here with the warriors the most thi the thing i enjoyed the most would be the meshing of players coming together from all different uh aspects of life you got south africans Fijians, obviously, Polys, and everybody just coming to mesh together for one common purpose. That to me is the biggest picture that I see is the most um, positive thing in this group or team.